Hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm Ted Kenny. This is Top Hops. Uh, 94 Orchard is going to be closing. We're going to be winding down on April 18th. Please come down and visit us this week or next. We'll be open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this week, and Thursday through Sunday next week. Now, without further ado, first on the list, Hopewell is a brewery out of uh, Chicago, Illinois, and they make an Italian-style pills, Alpi. Normally, we think of uh, pills as either Czech or German. Uh, this is an Italian pills inspired by the northern area of, uh, of Italy. It's got a little bit more of a biscuity, yeasty aroma, and it still has that crisp hops that you associate with a good European pilsner. Still refreshing, delicious, not as much bite, not as much sharpness as you get in a uh, in a Czech Pils. A little more rounded. This has got a little bit of haze to it. A lot of times you'll see a Czech style Pils being very clear. This has got a little bit of a haze to it. Delicious, easy drinking, great Pilsner beer. No off flavors, great hot afternoon beer. Next beer, we got our friends over at KCBC with I Wish I Was At The Beach Zombie, a fruited sour from KCBC. Now, we're a big fan of the KCBC uh, team and especially of their fruited sours. Starting to enjoy a nice spring. And these are the types of beers I like to enjoy in a nice spring. Very pink foam, tons of cherries and maybe some guava. Lots and lots of fruit. A lot of sweetness in there that you're gonna get in the fruited sour. A little bit of tartness, not incredibly tart, not gonna make you pucker or anything like that. Soft mouth feel, really coats the tongue, uh, and no lactose. A delicious fruited sour that can be enjoyed by everybody that likes those fruited sours. Now we've got Transmitter. For those of you that aren't familiar with Transmitter beers, they're also out of Brooklyn, New York. They make some really interesting beers. They're really well known for their saisons. So this is the W8, which is uh, a wit beer, 4.6 ABV and, uh, and eight IBUs. So obviously wit beer is gonna be a lot lower on the IBU scale, not very bitter. So this is a Belgian style wit with uh, citrus and spices. This is pretty well filtered. It's still got a little bit of haze to it, but definitely not the cloudiness that we've seen in a lot of different beers these days. A Little bit of biscuitness, a little bit of citrus, coriander, nice amount of carbonation on there. The beer really kind of dances on your tongue. You know, you can really kind of feel the grittiness from the uh, from the wheat. I personally love wheat beers. And again, wheat beers are another style of beer that I like to have as the weather's getting warmer. Great spring beers, great summer beers. Uh, very refreshing. Now, next we have Bissell Brothers. And these guys really make fantastic beers. We don't get a lot of Bissell Brothers down here. So when we do get some Bissell Brothers, I really like try to try everything that comes down. Uh, this is their Mosaic Pale Ale. So it's a pale ale, single hopped mosaic, only 5.1% ABV, pretty close to a, uh, a session IPA. A little bit of orangeness to it, not totally opaque. You can see some light through there. You can really smell the mosaic uh, hops. Yeah, it's got a bit of a hop punch right to it. Real bitterness right up front. Almost drying sensation on the, uh, on the tongue. Delicious beer, you know, not totally overpowering. It has a nice finish, a really great characteristics from that mosaic hop. It's a good single hop beer. Now, we've got a double IPA from Tox Brewing Company, Digitox. Kind of some really cool, unusual label art. They're out of New London, Connecticut, and they're brewing their beers out of there and out of the 12% brewery in Connecticut. 12% is one of the uh, imported distributors that we get a lot of our beers from. They built out a brewery in Connecticut where the different breweries that they distribute, they allow them to go in there and use it as a contract brewery or gypsy brewery. I haven't had anything from these guys yet. I've heard very good things about them. That is opaque, definitely New England haze, looks like orange juice. As you'd expect, a lot of citrus notes in there. It's got that creamy mouthfeel. Lots and lots of, uh, of tropical fruit. That is delicious. I think this is a 9%, 8.5. There's no burn on there, but you, you know that this is a big beer. This is not a, a 5% session IPA. It's got the hops in there, but it's got a, a, a lot of malt. There's some sweetness in there. Yeah, this is a great big beer. Now we have Lion Stout, which kind of fits in our uh, classic category. Uh, this is a beer out of Sri Lanka. They've been brewing this for, you know, for a long time. Biggest selling beer is their Pilsner, but their stout is a is probably what they're best known for in the United States. This is 8.8. .8. As you can see, black as night. It's completely opaque. There's absolutely no light getting through there at all. Really aromatic uh, coffee and chocolate. This is a dessert beer. Michael Jackson was a huge fan of this beer. He recommends that you pair this beer with uh, chocolate truffles. Michael Jackson, the beer hunter, beer hunter approved. 
Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you'd like to do something besides just watch me drink beer, please visit us at uh, tophops.com where you can find information on a bi-weekly subscription sent straight to your home. You can also find our beer store where we have these and many other beers available to ship out to you. Here's some news from the store. We're closing Top Hops at 94 Orchard Street. We've had a really great time here, but it's time to move on. So follow us on our social media for all the information on what's going on at Top Hops. We've got lots of changes, but nothing's ending. I'm already looking forward to the next time. See you soon.